This is an excerpt from a recent Power Up webinar looking at color tools and effects in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to use scopes to evaluate skin tones. Well, just as we can use scopes to evaluate images, we can also use scopes to evaluate people. If we met this woman on the street, we would say she is Caucasian. But she isn't white. Her sweater is white. Her top is black. Her face is a mid-tone gray. Here's her sweater right here. Look at that. It goes all the way to 100%. There's her top. It goes almost to zero. Where's her face? Right here in the middle, around 50%. And look at the colors over here in the vector scope. Got a little bit of green from the grass, a little bit of blue from the sky through the trees. But the bulk of it is right here on the skin tone line. It's her skin. What's interesting is whether someone is white or Hispanic or Indian or Asian or black, all of us have the same red blood under our skin. If you think about it, your skin doesn't have a color. It has a gray scale. Which means that the color of our skin is not based on our skin, but based upon the color of the red blood underneath it. And that's exactly what this line represents, the color of red blood under skin. Here, for instance, I have a Hispanic woman right on the skin tone line. Where's her skin? Right around oh, 70%. Caucasian woman. The background is white. That's right here. Her sweater is cream, that's right here. Her face, around 65%, and right on the skin tone line. Another example, on the skin tone line. Two Asian women, on the skin tone line to two degrees below it. Black woman. Her top is white, that's right up here. The walls are cream, that's right around in there. And her face, around 20 to 30% and right on the skin tone line. Yes, there's individual variation, but if you want your people to look normal, and the lighting is normal studio lighting as opposed to some dive with green neon light, if you've got normal studio lighting, their skin will be right on the skin tone line. I'm indebted to Alexis Van Herkman for this table. Everybody is plus or minus two degrees of the skin tone line. Yes, there's individual variation if somebody's sunburned or been drinking too much, but normal human skin, plus or minus two degrees of the skin tone line. Women tend to be 5% lighter in grayscale than men, and they tend to be 5% more saturated than men. This table I have found to be incredibly useful if I'm trying to get people to match by using these settings and adjusting the saturation and the grayscale after I get their skin on the skin tone line. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at color tools and effects in Adobe Premiere Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 279. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.